Shy Town's finest. Okay, here we have a uh, 60 inch LG or LED. Um, basically, have no picture, no backlight. Uh, as soon as that light stops flashing at the bottom, uh, the actual backlights should pop up and the picture, the picture should come on. As you can see, uh, it does not. Uh, to verify this model, this model number of the TV, it's a 60 inch LEG. I'm sorry, <laughs> LED, LG, LED, model number 60, LB6300. There's also a 5300, 5400, and so on. And this particular power supply also um, is used in various other models from 47 to 60 inch. As you can see, the 60 inch uh, on the bottom there is our LED plus voltage. Uh, there's two lines, uh, three strips on each line. So they should each be reading 205 volts. Uh, that's, that is the LED plus voltage. And uh, that'll be the first thing we'll do. We'll go ahead and check that. Uh, I've already checked the actual LEDs. Uh, they are reading good. Um, so we're mainly concerned with the LED plus, not the minus. The minus is the feedback or return voltage. And as we've seen before, we should be getting about 200 volts on both of the LED plus lines, which are the white and red wires. Um, we'll go ahead and plug it in. I do have my meter grounded to the chassis on the black wire. Uh, okay, so we plug it in, and as you can see, there's only 107 volts on one side on the red wire, and we'll plug it. I'll plug it back in um, and go to the white wire, recheck it, plug it in, and once again, we are nowhere near uh, 205 volts. Only at 108, uh, that voltage is definitely way too low. Uh, usually if you have bad LEDs, uh, the voltage will actually come up close and then it will just start going up, back down immediately. As you can see, the voltage here is constant. So that's a pretty much, indica uh, pretty much indication that uh, the power supply is bad. Just checking my return voltage. If the voltage is too low, it actually it will actually it goes to a feedback circuit and will actually cut the uh, power supply off to the LEDs. In case you're wondering why sometimes the TV won't light up uh, when you got one or two bad LEDs. Uh, so I got a new power supply board. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and see what happens. So I got my new power supply board in there. Let's go ahead and double check that. I'll go ahead and plug it in. Uh, first, I'm looking because I forget. <laughs> 205 volts, my brother. Okay, we'll go ahead and plug it back in. It automatically turns on. As you can see, the LEDs did light up, and we got about 210 volts, 211 on one side. And check the other one. The white wire, it is the LED plus. It is 210, so that is very close. That is good. So we should have one each line. We'll check our return voltage on the negative wire, the black wires, that's our return voltage. Uh, it's 20 volts, okay. And um, 20, volt, 20 volts on both lines, that means all the LEDs are, are pretty much uh, good. Um, one thing I do wanna point out is the customer it did actually say that uh, the picture was flashing, the backlights were flashing on and off before it went out. And what happened was, I guess they called too late, uh, there was that bad filter capacitor, uh, 33 microfarads at 450 volts. As you can see, I did change it. Uh, the old one was puffed up, and that was probably causing the backlights to flash off and on um, uh, before it just went out and probably just damaged something on the power supply board. Okay, we'll go ahead and plug it in. The light's flashing and uh, get our LG, that's a good sign. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and yep, there we go, voila. We are Trump tight, yes. So uh, that did it. 
Uh, hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, make sure that you like the video. Big dog out.